So now um, we're going to finish up the evening with one more panel. And uh, we ran a little bit over today, but I hope it was fun. We all know Pat, of course, uh, from what the fuck is uh, going on in China. But yeah, not only do we have Pat, we have theme music. We got the coffee cups. So we are here at the Trend Tea House in Montclair, New Jersey, to ask Pat Noble what the fuck is going on in Trent. Please have a seat. And joining us tonight, special guest from Modernity and Absurdity, uh, one of our content providers here on NJRR. I'm going to make you guys share a mic. Okay. I'm going to make you guys share a mic. Uh, Christian Perez. Welcome, guys, everybody. <laughs> Don't you know how podcast works? <laughs> Wait for the music to be in. Yeah, the music goes on forever. I actually, um, I asked Tether before the show, I'd like this to play in the background for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's just that good. And then some. There we go. I stopped. There you go. So thanks for joining us. Pat, what, what the fuck's going on on the man? I'd like to know what the fuck's going on behind me. <laughs> 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 more, more graphic genius than Christian. <laughs> how you been, man? Can you put the microphone in between you. You guys don't know how to share your social. <laughs> <laughs> doing okay. Thanks for having me here tonight. Glad I could be part of uh, part of this podcast. I, I'd like to know myself what the fuck's going on in Trent. What's up, New York? I can make that show. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the wrong country. Yeah, so we are. You, you, you had some things to talk about. I know I want to talk about uh, liberals and Democrats, but yes. before I get to yelling and cursing, what, what do you got on your mind? It's like the Late Late Show. A, so, so the big thing in trend right now is the, um, we have the audit come out from New Jersey Transit. Ah, yes, yes. New Jersey Transit. <laughs> Anybody ride the rails here? Anybody transit riders? Yes. We had a few. Yeah. Yes. You look very enthusiastic about that. Yep. You know, I think everyone is. <laughs> so we finally got the audit, spent over a million dollars to get the audit. Uh, I could have wrote on a little post-it note, we're fucked and would have cost a million dollars. <laughs> so we've got the audit, pretty much says that New Jersey Transit has no money to fix anything that's wrong with it. The trains are decaying, everything's antiquated, they don't have any way to to replenish, to fix anything. So weed, man. <laughs> so weed. <laughs> You believe that our governor from Goldman Sachs has the same fucking idea from half baked to make money? Hot <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, all this report really says is that New Jersey Transit has no money to fix anything, and it comes up with a lot of like small things that might bring in a little bit of money. It talks about advertising on trains more. Yes. Talks about um, some sort of unified um, train card that goes. Have they thought about selling mugs? <laughs> <laughs> They did, they did, because <laughs> even though New Jersey Transit has no money, they found a quarter of a million dollars to hire the same ad firm that did um, Stronger Than the Storm. Great. Yes. So, so they can make derailing trains friendly and <laughs> safe. <laughs> so <laughs> and, 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 and all, all, you know, the governor gave his little press conference and sort of blamed Christie, which is all he yeah. seems to do. Polishing the turd is yeah, what yeah, they're doing. Yeah, 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 the administration will handle it, we'll come up with a plan. <laughs> Once he has a plan, I have the slightest idea how he's going to get it passed in Trenton. When he campaigned, he had our backs. He doesn't have our backs anymore, now he's got this. Well, I, I never thought he had my back to begin with. <laughs> Christian, what the fuck is this? I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I want to go back to the whole weed thing, right? Because yeah. Colorado, <laughs> we're going back right, to the show. Let's, 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 uh, I, Colorado in their first year raised about eighty-five million. I think it was eighty-five million dollars in taxes, and of course, it was yeah. supposed to go towards the kids. It's always supposed to go towards the kids, and the kids sure. never seem to get the money. I, I, I they get the weed though. They got the weed. I don't think <laughs> they mixed up the delivery. And they brought the weed. <laughs> Um, they didn't learn a lot, but they sold a lot yes. of those little toasted things in the lunch line that day. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I, I, think, I think that New Jersey needs to get on the ball. Of course, we know that people are fighting it. I know just where I, I'm from, uh, Tinton Falls, West Long Branch is doing everything they can to fight it. But I think a state like New Jersey, if we jump on it, and jump on it before a state like New York, right? We look at uh, the legalization of marijuana in Canada, and I think the joke was they, they basically ran out. 
<laughs> right? I, I think New Jersey, I think that's something that we should focus on. Um, I don't, one of the ideas they were thinking to raise money for New Jersey Transit was to tax Uber and Lyft. Yep. And I think, uh, was it the Chicago Transit Authority? They're projected to make about $16 million uh, a year in that. They were thinking of uh, increasing the tax by five cents and going to $21 million a year. So the options are there. We just uh, we just have to have politicians willing to, to take that step. I don't... I don't think yeah, we don't, right? No. So I, I, what was that Sweeney was talking about was he, he wanted to raise the minimum wage, but he needed to carve out. They're, they're always looking for their excuses. Yeah. Um, Murphy, one of his big deals was was marijuana legalization, and he's you know he's he's butting heads with Sweeney now. Yeah. I mean the problem is the Democratic Party. We sit here, we rail on them, and they're not even united themselves. They, they, no, they they're can't get it together. They're a complete clusterfuck. You talked about the fifteen. And that's going to be my one. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it, this is and and you know, we're we're Phil guys. I've been with the fifteen now movement for four years. Four years ago, I started asking for fifteen dollars an hour. Now uh, it's four years later, and they're still asking for fifteen dollars an hour. I think the big problem with that clause uh, is again, and, and and my warnings come to you from personal experiences. It got involved with the Democratic Party way too fucking early. Yeah. And, and Pat, you've been on board with fifteen now long enough to know that. You know, we were trying to do some grassroots organizing. We were trying to build up the left, build up the Green Party, build up Socialist Party, build up these alternatives to capitalism. When the Democratic Party came around, they said, ooh, let's do all these non-binding resolutions at city councils. And I kept over and over asking, when are we going to organize around this? When are we going to go to the communities? When am I going to talk to people like I'm talking to people tonight about this issue and stop running around making Democrats look good? I'll tell you a story about the Mercer County non-binding resolution. They passed this fucking thing. And then the, the, the head of the city, city council, Sam Frisbee, who's running for office again, um, afterwards shakes my hand. I thank him for the endorsement. He starts arguing with me, with me that $15 is too much. He just passed a fucking ordinance. And then right after the show, we're going to have with him after the meeting. And these are not two people that agree on something, but the non binding resolutions were pointless. And what we should have been doing is engaged in the community. Now, we're looking at these carve-outs. We're looking at uh, these discriminatory laws, which are racist as hell, because you're trying to carve out uh, migrant workers who do most of the farm work. Teenagers. Teenagers. Um, and, and let me tell you, if you're a teenager and you're living in a low-income area, you're helping your family pay your bills. You got 15 and 16 year olds out there, you know, doing what they got to do to help feed their family nowadays. Yeah, I, I think it's something like uh, almost 50% of all minimum wage earners are responsible for 50% of the household. Income. Absolutely. So if you're a teenager, and I have kids, well, Long Branch was a blue collar town, like some parts of Long Branch. Um, there were kids who were supporting their families on their job at Kmart, their job at a local supermarket, and to deny these high schoolers that that uh, those wages, it really just hurts families. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, and, and and it was 15 now calling out Steve Sweeney. And last year we were posting memes every week. You promised us. With quotes from them saying we're going to put it on the ballot. But, 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 but I'll also remember when it went off the rails at the end of 2016, early 2017, their entire argument was that we have an election this year. We're going to elect a Democrat. And we're get you know, Christy won't be there to veto it, blah, blah, blah. Now we're several months into Phil Murphy's term. And they're still even, talking about yeah. that. And they're still talking about carbots, and they are, strong, and they're going to accept some of the carbots because they never built the strength to fight the system. They built up the system. They built up the liberals. They built up the Democratic Party politicians. And 15 now, when they were supposed to put it on the ballot, was posting meme after meme directly with quotes from Sweeney saying, I'm going to put this on the ballot, questioning him. What, why aren't you putting on this ballot? And the rest of that coalition acted like a bunch of cowards. We had a couple of staffers from working families trying to lobby for us, but the rest of the, that coalition fell apart, didn't return messages, didn't go to rallies, didn't challenge the Democratic Party. They just let it slide through, and here we are a year later with no more strength, no more advantage, no more leverage, and they're pushing carve outs through. But, that, but that's um, where we're at with 15 now. It's where we're at with legalizing marijuana. Yep. We have a progressive governor who has no control over his own party in Trenton. No. Nope. Everything's run by Steve Sweeney. So what, what, what was the... What was the point of electing a Democrat? At least with Chris Christie, you know where you stood. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of you know what the point was? No, no. no. I mean, honestly, right? We elected this guy to do these things, and now Steve Sweeney's standing away. He didn't tell you Steve Sweeney was going to stand away. What's that? 
Point was, money talks. Point point bought the money talks. Sweeney might as well be the governor, you know, if you compare what power they can control on trade. Yeah. 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 And, and that's pretty bad in a state where the governor has more power constitutionally yeah. than pretty much any other state yeah. Yeah. On the, on, in the nation. Most oh. powerful governor in the country. And he's yeah. being yeah. out-muscled yeah. by Steve Sweeney yeah. and George Norcross's money. Um, yeah, I said this on the last show, and I think you cringed when I said it. Of course. Yeah. yeah. A lot of things you said yeah. make me cringe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as Phil Murphy reads out of the John Corzine playbook, he's going to be a one-term governor. Ooh. He's not getting anything done. He's not even trying. I, I, I would rather him... Like he's in Germany. Germany. Yeah, he's, he's in Germany, Germany right now. Yeah. He's probably safer there. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'd rather see him you know, push 50 now, push, you know, push legalizing marijuana. He can fail in Burma, he can at least try. So you don't believe he is the dear leader that I believe he is? Oh, I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> when are you gonna run, Brian? Huh? So when are you gonna I have been running from things my do, whole do life. I, do you want to make I mean, my, my <laughs> <laughs> You can make an announcement right now if you want. Yeah, I'm not running for shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's my not buy a mug, that's my job. <laughs> Christian, is there anything else we have to ask what the fuck about? I mean, off the top of my head, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't think Jersey politics is my strong suit. What the oh. fuck am I doing on this panel, right? <laughs> we do reach outside the great nation of no, New Jersey. Yeah, that's fine. Tomorrow. That's fine. We're outside of New Jersey right now. We, so. oh. 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 <laughs> I don't disagree with that. We let a guy from South Jersey. Mom with Middlesex County. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's two South Jersey guys here. Oh, <laughs> that's true. That's true. He's well, not from South Jersey, by the way. Do any of you have a what the fuck I'm is going on? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on, Mark? <laughs> what the fuck about Joe D? Why is oh, no one is. challenging oh. him? Because well, that's like a, that's like a cluster fuck of North Jersey. Are you serious? <laughs> nobody, nobody works. running is Joe D. Because they don't want their body floating down the Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. That was a joke. <laughs> you know, you know that behind the camera. I behind the camera. I forget that this shit was on the <laughs> Being pattered, smoking weed on my back bench. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Uh, what else? Tom, what the fuck? Oh, jeez. I'm sorry to pick on you, but I love you. Yeah, I, I, I read uh, Politico every day. You know, the local Politico. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's pretty good stuff. Yeah, just, uh, well, is Murphy doing a good thing over in Germany, drumming up uh, solar? They're going to open an office, one of these big companies. It's probably even pretzels and drinking. Is, is that going to benefit us? I heard, I heard one firm in had eight, eight jobs open. Nice. Eight jobs! Wow! So we pay for our job. Did we pay for this vacation? Or is he out I, don't work? I think we're, pay, we're paying for it. So we pay for him to go on vacation and find people a job. The gimmick is that he's going to bring jobes here. That's, that's the gimmick. That's a good ROI. Oh. Yeah. Is he picking them up? <laughs> He's bringing them I mean, I, he probably could afford a lot of planes, but how do you bring a job? Well, I, I think, yeah. in, in, in fairness, he is creating one new job right now when he's voted out of office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the idea is he's just courting foreign investment to come to the state oh, of New Jersey, okay. and that, that's the idea. He shouldn't be like, leaving our nation. You know, American capitalists, German capitalists. Henry, what the fuck? <laughs> um, how does the state, and I'm in Atlantic City, I'm talking about Atlantic City. You are, yeah. Uh, the governor said that he when he's coming town, he's going to free Atlantic City from he state takeover. He was going to free Atlantic He did. So uh, yeah, how are you enjoying your freedom? <laughs> I'm still locked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still locked up, and the city's still locked up. Okay, so the problem, had, my real problem was they did an uh, audit on CRDA that holds all the money for the casinos that goes all around the state and don't touch Atlantic City. And... They said that they were fiscally irresponsible. They were paying more people more money. The summer concerts and things that they had were, um, they just basically paid Live Nation millions is of dollars there, for nothing. Is there argument that the state is fiscally responsible? Huh. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> but what they did was, in their audit, Jim Johnson in the governor's audit, it said all of these things about it. But they turn around and give the money for sports betting to Creta to do the same thing again. Mm. 
How do you turn around and give the same organization that's fiscally irresponsible, didn't do nothing for the city that it's supposed to, the city is cracked, all the problems, anything you hear about it, nothing has been done, they like a ghost town. I know, I've been there. And then you turn around and give all the money to that same organization again. And then all the politicians in the city is like clapping their hands like, yeah, yeah, they're going to do right this time. Yeah, they're going to sure. do right by us this time. Did you see any of them at the tables after that, uh, yeah, yeah? <laughs> yeah we we haven't heard from none of them pretty much nowhere, you know, as far as I'm concerned. I haven't heard, you know, a lot of them are, uh, are jumping out, uh, out the box now because they also did an audit on the city of Atlantic City. Yeah. Jim Johnson did, okay. as far as issues and things. And, it, you know, a lot of the stuff was the same thing that the Green Party's been talking about. All the things that they posted were all our initiatives. All the things that I was talking about, the things that all of you folks in here were talking about, all the problems and the concerns of Atlantic City. And so now my question is, who's responsible or who's going to take the leadership in it if we haven't been able to do this with the people that we have on staff the whole time? <laughs> Anybody have any questions? No. <laughs> yeah. That what the fuck is yeah. going on in Atlantic City? Yeah. Maybe Absolutely. we have to have a show down south <laughs> yeah. and invite Henry uh, down to be, be our guest on what the fuck in Atlantic City. What the fuck? It is yeah. what the fuck. I don't have an answer for any of that, and that's why we call the show what we well, do. Well, we, what we're going to do is we're going to have to educate the state what's going on up in New Jersey. That's why they're able to take advantage of us and do the things Absolutely. that they do. Because no, and we don't have the media like we're doing Revolution Radio. Many yes. people across the states are going to hear and know what's going on down there because of what you're ready to do and what you're doing right now. Absolutely. You just answered your own question. Yeah, right? like, like, what, what are we going to do? I mean, we're, we're doing it, right? I mean, it starts with a handful of people at a coffee shop in, in New York, right? And uh, <laughs> just, this is where it begins. Canada, because Canada, because we, you can't. Canada. <laughs> um, when, when you rely on... Uh, Unfortunately, high-ranking high Democratic politicians, 99 times out of 100, you are going to be disappointed. I mean, looking at Hillary Clinton, remember how she loses to Trump, she disappears, mm -hmm. and then her big contribution to the resistance is to start a super PAC. Well, isn't, that, that, isn't that great, right? Or expect? when she was uh, running up, running for president during the election, everyone's talking about $15 now, and her big deal is to sign for a $12 uh, minimum yeah. wage, right? So until Bernie said 15 un Until Bernie said and then it was 15 and then he, he kind of, you know, had her backpedaling. But I mean, the, the answer is, um, I think we, we have to do it ourselves. And democracy is not easy. When I talk to my students, um, a quote I like to use from Cornell West is democracy is a verb. It's not a noun. It's not pulling a lever every four years or every two years or every November. It, it's about talking to people. It's about going door to door. It's about changing hearts and minds, right? I try to do it as an educator. I try to do it when I can make the occasional phone call or knock on the occasional door. But I, I think that's that's the answer, is you have to do it yourselves, because we can't rely on these policies. We're not supposed to come up with solutions. We're just supposed no, to whine right. about shit on this show, so yes. I, I, I don't think... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's about solutions. But it's when, been fun. When, when I talk to my students about getting involved, like they, they just don't know. Like I, I, I like to bash on liberals, it's fun. But it is. people just don't know, right? People are naive. Right, um, I, my my father, my mother, they're good people. They're progressive, but they're not necessarily articulate politically. Oh. Right, so you, you 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 know you have to. He is um, in DSA. Uh, oh, no, my. look. <laughs> no, no what, what I'm saying is my my parents. Are all, there's right and wrong, but then there's being able to. A lot of people know right and wrong, but being able to put it into words and use the right jargon and being able to communicate effectively, not everybody has that ability. In this state, it's easy. Just curse a fucking lot. Look how much goddamn attention we're getting. Yeah. Yeah. But there's no yeah. always cursing. Now, you can curse, yeah. and, and, and it can come over. I don't want to be angry. But, but I can't bad. curse, because I'm an angry black man. Now. Yeah. I like that. And I'm That's scaring everybody off, and they're missing my whole point. That's everything that I'm talking about. I get it very easily. So, you know, so even though I would like to, Believe me. Let I'm me a, know when you need to curse. I'll use my privilege. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to look to you every time I need to say a word. All right. <laughs> I'll be here. I, you know. Well, thanks a lot for coming, guys. I wish we had more time. Um, but as you guys know, What the Fuck shows up about every two weeks. Yep. Christian, you got any more uh, yeah, projects so, um, coming our way? I, um, I, I, I teach a non-credited uh, course on conspiracy theories. Uh, Ooh, unfortunately, it didn't get picked up this semester. I, I didn't have enough people show up for it. Um, I will be giving a presentation in March. I will be uh, hopefully teaching the class in the spring, but I will be working on a four-part series in my on my podcast, Modernity and Absurdity, available SoundCloud, Stitcher, and yeah. iTunes, on conspiracy theories. It's a big problem now. It's a big problem in society. Fake news, 
uh, just crap media, and uh, that's what I'm working on. Got a really good interview coming, and uh, yeah, uh, like six wait. hours worth of uh, worth of material. I can't wait for it. I hate All conspiracy right. theories, but I love to talk about them. Sounds good. I think they're bad things. Pat, what you got going on? So uh, November we have uh, Socialist Party has its Northeast Regional Conference in Newark. Uh, Mark, what day is it? November 10th. November 10th in Newark. Yeah. Uh, yes. Red November. At the uh, Haynes all... Building from 11 to 6. Yes. The Haynes. Oh my Haynes. 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 Workshops throughout the day. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right, well, and we're a part of that too. New Jersey Revolution Radio yeah, is a part yeah, of that. You want to be there? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you are going to be there. I'm going to be there. I think we're sponsoring it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're sponsoring it. Yeah. We'll be seeing more, and we'll be yeah. posting more about it as and it goes There's free food yes. there. I, free food. Yeah, Susan, free food. Susan told me that people oh, care about that. I don't know. Yeah, that's a big thing. <laughs> Pizza fuels the revolution here yeah. in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. so thank you. And, very and much. we will bring some from New Jersey yeah. to New York. Oh, God. <laughs> thank you. Get off my stage. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, you know, and we're going to wrap it up here. So I'm going to invite Heather up, but everybody, a uh, round of applause for uh, Pat and Kristen. I really can't believe that we have a graphic with my head and a spinning star behind me. My mom is going to be so proud. So we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, before we go, though, uh, for those of you at home, uh, you can go to our website, click on the merchandise link. We have these 15-ounce coffee mugs. You can drink Capitalist Tears. Um, you can see on the back it says Capitalist Tears. And uh, if you're here tonight, these are 25 bucks. They help fund NJRR. We really do appreciate you coming out tonight uh, and being a part of this. Heather, anything to say before we go? Um, we still do have that GoFundMe going on, we right? Do? So um, you can find it if you go to our website or through the Facebook page. You can find our GoFundMe. Every dollar helps. Uh, you know, we not only are getting these printed, we're trying to get some more uh, publicity uh, flyers printed. Maybe even T-shirts down the line at some yes. point in time, so you come. can proudly wear that you um, hate capitalists. <laughs> Just thank you guys so much for coming here tonight. We really appreciate it. I'm exhausted, and we're in Canada, and I've got a two-hour drive home. So. <laughs> thank you all for coming out tonight. Please tell your friends and comrades about New Jersey Revolution Radio. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Good night.